Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the science quiz. I'll be your host, Professor Loopy, and I'm here to test your knowledge. Here's round one. Space. Question one. Which star is located at the centre of our solar system? Question number two. When are shadows shortest during the day? Question number three. True or false, the sun is higher in the sky at midday in summer than it is at the same time in winter. Question number four. Why does the shape of the moon change throughout the month? Question number five. What shape are the sun, the moon and earth? Round two. Living things and their habitats. Question number one. What three main things do seeds need to germinate? Question two. Name at least two parts of a bird's life cycle. Question number three. What can affect the length of gestation period? Question number four. Give an example of an animal that might have a longer gestation period. Question five. What naturalist is famous for his nature documentaries, including Planet Earth and Dynasties? Bonus point if you can spell his name right. Round three. Materials and their properties. Question one. What process could you use to separate water and salt that has been mixed? Question two. What property does a material have if it cannot be dissolved? Question three. What state does water change from and to during evaporation? Four. Are melting and boiling reversible or irreversible changes? Question five. Give an example of a change that is irreversible. Round four. Forces. Number one. What two words beginning with P can be used to describe a force? Here's a clue. They are opposite movements. Question number two. Complete the sentence. The greater the mass, the the force needed to move it. I'll repeat. The greater the mass, the blank, the force needed to move it. Question number three. Who discovered gravity? And question number four. What do we measure forces in? And last question. Question five. True or false? The greater the air resistance, the slower something will fall to the ground. That is the end of the questions.